basically having read Anthony's script or within 10 pages, he'd found a point of view that I found very interesting, which was the perspective of the person who's falling in love with Stephen and then makes a very critical choice to stay with him when he's diagnosed with this, what appears to be a terminal illness, within two years he'll be dead. So uh, that perspective was very important for me to understand uh, how the film could be different from a conventional biopic of someone transcending their disabilities and their mind soaring into you know, the, the, the areas it did with Stephen. And so the film isn't, doesn't become really about his scientific career, although that's embedded in the story. It becomes a story of, of how, how what it's like to live with someone who has that disability and that genius at the same time. And as you know, the story gets quite complicated emotionally. And that felt was original to, to this story and to that situation. So what it's like to love someone who is suffering from that illness and what the burdens are then put on you uh, as a carer and a lover and a wife. That felt very rich territory to me emotionally. I became quickly infatuated with the story on that level. Once I met him, I kind of knew he was the one. Um, we got on very well. His passion, his ambition as well. Um, and this is an ambitious role for an actor. It's not one that you can just step into. It's going to make big demands upon your physicality, on your emotional life too. It's not, again, it's a role that <clears throat> has an emotional cost, I think, for the actor who's going to do it. And that's very true of, of Jane's character too. Once I'd met Eddie, and I kind of knew, OK, this is going to be great. And you go through a little dance, and then you and you end up. That's the one you want to work with. Um, and then Eddie threw himself into very intensive preparation, both physical and psychological, which I was privy to and supportive of, and dipped into some of the uh, preparation in terms of meeting people with MND and meeting with uh, medical staff with MND. And my role with him was to, I think, give him confidence and to support him and not to criticize him, but to just support his preparation, knowing that he's doing something that's really scary. Because if, if he doesn't work any given scene, the, the film's not going to work if that role does not come off uh, in every scene. And, you know, I think it does. Um, so it was a brilliant choice. Eddie's performance progresses with the illness. And in each stage of the performance, there is a whole different set of technical requirements, uh, very complicated stuff f f for an actor to pull off. And um, Eddie's sort of commitment to that was, was amazing. And it, it came at a physical cost. I mean, he, every day he's in a sort of stress position for most of the day in some awkward way. And, and, and that's all a given. He then has to make this character emerge and project out of the disability. And that is the great achievement of the performance.